Good morning, we're at a recovery location in Ceres. There wasn't much parking on the street because there's another out transporter there. So they let us go ahead and drive in. We only have one vehicle today, which is at this location, which is a CRV. It's going to take a few parts, but it does drive. We're going to quickly open it up and then we're going to head out to Modesto. So what he's gonna do is he's putting this in what he calls the belly. Hey, don't lower the ramp. I want to see if. Uh... <clears throat> Please. Did you know that? Yeah. So we have one car in number three position where we're going to Modesto and we're going to pick up one car and one SUV. Then from there, we're going to head out to Tracy to another recovery location and pick up a Ford Explorer. So today we only have four vehicles. Three of them are SUVs, one car at three different recovery locations. It's 9.51. We're at our second location, recovery location here in Modesto. We're going to go ahead and transfer it to vehicles. I've already checked in. He has the ramps down and he also took out the straps. Now we're just here waiting. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. We'll be happy to answer them for you. As you can see, we're using the Infinity today. And the reason for this is he has four SUV, three SUVs and one car. So he could put that on the Kaufman, but being that it's three SUVs, he decided to use the Infinity. I'm in the Kia Sorento, and we have a Nissan Rogue that they're pulling out. That's good, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ouch! <laughs> For some reason, I thought that Kia Sorento was a car, but evidently it's an SUV. So we have four SUVs. We currently have two on the trailer. Like I said, we're waiting for one more at this location. Hope everyone had a nice Memorial Day weekend. We went camping. We went up to Pinecrest, California. We took our toy hauler and it was nice. But one thing we realized is it's quite a bit of work. So we SUVs? Yes. You're lucky I brought the Infinity. I know. I thought this the one was a car. Infinity to the rescue. parking for that size trailer. So at Pinecrest, there's two different spots that we like to use, but um, there isn't too many spots because it, it is a large trailer. So with the tent, we'll be able to have more options. Comes our last vehicle, which is a Nissan Rogue. I'm gonna go ahead and do the inspection and then we're gonna load it up. It's, it's 11.24 and we're at our last location, which is the recovery location in Tracy. Now we have three SUVs and of course we have the Ford Explorer. He's going to go ahead and lower these, turn one of them backwards and then reload. So out of the, the three SUVs on top, he's taking the smallest one, which is a Nissan Rogue. He's going to back it up in number one position. Then I will go ahead and back in. Follow me. I will back in the Hyundai Sen uh, Sorento. And then last will be the Ford Explorer. Two are loaded on the top. Now for the Explorer, hopefully it fits. Otherwise, um, those two, of course, can go further, further back. Now this is the load. Now there's four 
more SUVs. These SUVs are going here to Pleasanton. We're currently in Tracy. It's not very far at all. So um, we're actually just working a couple hours today, about 12.30 or so. We started at nine. And as far as prices, we picked this one up in series for 145. These two in Modesto for 135 a piece and that one in Tracy for 110. For a total of, I'm still looking at the low board, um, seeing if I can find other items. I did find a recovery, but of course those need a 24 hour notice. So I booked that for the future and hopefully some others come out because it is early in the day. Now that he has more weight on the upper ramp, he has two vehicles. Well, uh, one vehicle for sure and partial of another. What he did is he raised the ramp just a few inches, as you can see here. Just a few inches there. And that's to have a little more clearance here now that he has more weight. And not only that, we're going to the scale. So this that's the reason I backed this one in. This is the load today four SUVs and he was considering bringing the Kaufman but luckily he decided to do this one because I don't think he could fit well he can't he can't fit four SUVs on the Kaufman so look at the load so because I'm going through the scale today from the truck. It takes it takes it takes the weight off the drive you know, on the truck. Second car and backed it up. This one, the Ford Expedition is the biggest SUV we have. That's the smallest one. It goes in the belly. But because it's a little tall, I have to raise the ramp up about an inch. If I would have left it down bounce up and down it would have probably damaged the roof on the SUV there. Any questions? But yeah whenever you raise the ramp up make sure you got your pins right there back up. Uh, don't depend on your hydraulics. Okay that's okay, it. This is the lot. Now we're headed out to Pleasanton to deliver all vehicles in the same location. It's 12:13, and we're stuck in traffic here on the Altima about 10 minute delay. He's going to go ahead and unstrap while I go inside and let them know that we have four recoveries to deliver.